Canva brochure design tutorial step-by-step -step guide. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can design a brochure on Canva. So let's get into it. Now to get started, the first thing you have to do is head on over to canva.com. Now, once you're on canva.com, you can get started by going into the search bar and you can search for a brochure like this. Now, once you search for a brochure, you have different types of brochures. You either have a trifold brochure that folds inwards versus a trifold brochure that has three sides that are of equal sizes. So one brochure type usually has, you know, one side that is smaller or skinnier and it folds inwards and then the other side is larger and it folds outwards. So you can choose the type of brochure you want to create. Now, specifically, if I was to talk about what kinds of businesses primarily do best with brochures, I would say when you're providing real estate, marketing services, digital services, all of those particular industries or niches work really well in brochures hospitality hotels restaurants those kinds of things work well in brochures because you're able to provide information as well as visual elements so once you open up the templates on canva you can get started with picking out and designing your particular brochure However, one thing to note is that your brochure will have two faces, the front face and the back face. And we are going to be designing a brochure which is going to fold over. So you can, you know, categorize the information accordingly or you can make all six pages different. That's totally up to you. So I am going to be focusing on building a brochure as a hospitality business. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick out one of these simpler templates and you can create a blank brochure as well. And I will show you guys how to get started from scratch as well. So I'm going to go with the blank template because a lot of people find it a bit, you know, overwhelming to design from scratch. So open up two blank pages and this is a standard brochure size. Once you do that, go into elements and then click on the blank line, rotate it to 90 degrees like this, and then just place it at around the point where you think it's, it's placed, you know, uh, one third of the canvas. Now just do command C and then command V and then follow along like this. So once you do that, you will be able to find a point where all of your lines are equidistant. So select both of these lines and then click on align elements or go on ahead and click on middle. So they're both aligned to the middle. And then you can go ahead and click on space evenly. If you don't get the space evenly option like this, that probably means that they are spaced pretty evenly. But I am going to just select this over here. You can also choose to enable the ruler to be able to see the sizing of your section so we're going to make sure that both of these sections are the same size and usually you can find right around here and another way to do this is to go into elements just take a simple square and then once you build your lines place it right at the center of one at the center of the second one and then at the center of the third one and you will be able to see the distance between all of these elements. Now, this one is not centered and you can place this right at the center. And then it's 1.7 from these two sides. And then I want it to be 1.17 from this as well. So just like that, this actually tells me that my lines are placed correctly and I can just duplicate this. Now, once you've placed your lines, you can create a segregation of color. So first off, I'm going to set a background color. I want to go with brown tones over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a muted little brown. And then on one section, I'm going to open up a blank square like this and then extend it to the line. And then I can just delete the line and then extend it to the bottom. And I'm going to change the color to instead of a light brown i'm going to give one section a darker brown color so we're gonna go with this you know orange rustic color like this and then after that on the other section let's say i want this section to be a different color because obviously you're going to have these be folded over so you can duplicate this and keep a empty version 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a different color as well. So we're going to go into our document colors and add this one. Now, I don't think I like both of these being very high contrast. So I might actually go and add this color to both of them instead. And I think this looks better. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to take this and then place the darker color at the center over here like this and once i've placed that at the center once this has been aligned over here i am going to make this so when people see the outsides they're going to see these two sides and the inside is going to be light and then the other you know sides would be brown and then a darker brown now once we've done that on the center i want my business name and the main focus of my business so i would go into text and i can insert the logo or going to uploads over here and enter the logo of our hospitality business so let's say this is our logo and i'm going to insert that once i have done that i can go into text over here and i will go into heading and let's say your den hotels live your best experiences with us like this let's say this is our basic tagline and once i've placed this text i can place another similar block and with the similar block what i am going to do is i'm going to change the text to be maybe your location so let's say our location in berlin toronto and let's say we are in bali maldives like this so you can insert your locations or whatever kind of information you want you can also insert images if you want to keep it in a list keep it in a list but i want to just insert the locations in a plain manner i'm going to place this right at the center now once i have done that i'm going to select all of these elements making sure all of these are centered like so now once i've done that i'm going to go into elements and then i can upload my own photos but i'm just going to take a few stock images for now to insert over here so i will be using stock images but i highly recommend you guys insert your own so let's say this is our hotel image that i want to insert over here and we can insert that in this panel like so i'm going to move the image over here like this let's say i want the entire panel to be covered with our hotel image so i have that over here and then let's say on the other side i can search for frame and then click on see all in your frame section and then you can use a you know a different type of frame to display a you know different image so i'm going to search for a frame that takes up around half the space of our section because i don't want this to take over the entire image so let's say it's going to be this one over here i can insert this over here and once i've done that i can just resize it a little or maybe another one yeah like this one over here just place it at the section you want it to be and then i'm just going to search for hotel and then just use a simple stock image for now like this and then i can go into text and i'll add some subheading like so once I've done that, I will place the subheading section and I can add our amenities like this. And you can insert your amenities over here. Now, this is just one side of our particular page. Now, on the other side of our brochure, I might want to include like a image or a visual that is going to be moving throughout. So to do that, go into elements and then search for frames again and search for go into paper torn frame like this and then go into the frame section in your frame section you're going to find a frame like this so this is a very large frame that can be inserted like this and then you can just increase its size so it encompasses all three of your sections and this will give a cohesive appearance to the entirety of your brochure we're going to go ahead and use another stock image and then you can insert that image over here so people can see you know what kind of hotel you have and then on the top you can display more information like your contact section so i will add one of those contact us like this 
and in this section i can add all of the contact information for the different branches then other than that i want to maybe add a history section our history and then maybe in the center you might want to add some other amenities or services or perks that you are providing so in this way you can get started with creating your own brochure on canva i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe